After telling a good story and the audio quality, the next thing to improve on your video is the lighting and not the camera. No matter how good your camera is going to be, if your lighting sucks, your whole video is going to suck. So lighting can be very expensive if you want to go for professional grade lighting. And lately we are moving more towards LED light, but those panels cost an arm and a leg. So how about we go to one of the nation's favorite store, which is going to be IKEA or IKEA. I don't know how it's pronounced and we're going to be trying one of their cheap versions which is the riot led 600 lumen this is rated at 6 watt it's e27 cap and uh, it's 2700 kelvin so this is not daylight but this is rather what we call warm white okay now this is obviously consumer light and it's not going to give you the same results as a professional light but if you're a professional, you probably will not be watching this video unless if you're here to school me. Let's take it out. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech. And if you're new here on this channel, I want to help you develop a better relationship with technology. So consider subscribing, click the bell icon to go from newbie to techie and also Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Right, needless to mention, I don't think anyone has affiliates with IKEA, but we all shop from there. So I thought to try one of their cheap light options. Now, traditionally, I started by using these really awkward CFL bulbs. This one is rated at 150 watt. Yep. So I had four in kind of a soft box, but then I decided I don't want to use them anymore. They get really hot. I actually keep breaking them. It's annoying. LED, the obvious option, cheap, economical, lasts longer, and a lot less heat output. However, right now what you are watching is I'm using an LED panel to my top right. It's a Viltrox something. It's about 30 pounds, uh, link below. And to my left, I've got one of those bulbs. Okay, just one single uh, light to my left right now. And if uh, I've done this video correctly, you probably have seen a grading shade, like a comparison because we're filming this on a Canon EOS 650D on kind of a flat profile and I've got the ISO at 800 auto white balance and I've done some form of color grading in uh, Resolve and we're going to test this now with the IKEA Riot bulb. Let's see what difference it makes. Okay, for this section of the video, I'm going to try to leave this in as one shot as possible just to give you a fair comparison. Right now, I've changed some setting on the DSLR, uh, the white balance on automatic. So is the ISO and the profile picture is on standard. Usually from Canon, the color is decent. Most people like it straight out of the box, but later on, we'll do a different kind of color profile and we're still filming with the Viltrox LD panel to my top right and we've got the one bulb one of these bulb to my left there just for some kind of a light to my left like a fill light okay we are not going to be able to get decent light with one of these bulbs although these packages come with two of them but instead what if we used an adapter this is a four in one base socket adapter this is the e27 it costs between five and ten pounds depending where you buy it from and i'm going to use a soft box which didn't cost me anything thank god because i found it on the streets and the only problem with it was just a little uh, fuse that wasn't working took it out and i'm using it let's switch over to the um ikea bulb okay i'm gonna switch this off And whoa, I've just turned on the IKEA uh, bulb. There's four in there in this socket. And as you can see, the color probably has changed drastically. Okay, still everything is on auto right now. And uh, yeah, so there is no diffusion whatsoever. It's quite close to me. But I just want to ask you if you're watching this, this is the uncorrected part, not graded part. Is this good enough? I think right now without checking this in post, it is better than a no light, okay? Uh, although it's 2700 Kelvin, which is warm white, it's not daylight, but it's probably better than not having uh, any light or having terrible light from just your phone or you're trying to shoot in a kind of dark corner, but you be the judge. However, for professional stuff, it's not gonna happen. But now let's change some setting and see what we can do with this. So I could not leave this in one shot because I couldn't change the white balance setting uh, with the OS utility from Canon unless I switched off the camera, but I've just done that. So now let's do some gradual change to this whole lighting setup. First, I'm gonna put on a diffusion sheet, okay? And there we have it. 
still trying to leave this in one shot to give you a fair comparison um, get some clips just to you know keep that in place oh my god oh my god oh come on now it's not gonna work properly okay fine so that is probably a huge difference but I'm not sure how the lighting has gone down a bit but we'll you know correct that in post and I've got the white balance at the moment on tungsten and I've also got the ISO at 800 we are shooting on a cine style profile and uh, there is no prime lens on this one it's still a normal kit lens it's not even a very good kit lens 18 to 55 millimeter if you had a better prime lens on there the image would be even much better all right i'm using uh, a resolve for this and i'm just going to import the last section uh, and we are going to be doing a little color grading and we're just going to grab this put it down here okay once i've imported this into the timeline i'm actually going to copy this just to be safe and uh, so i can always do a comparison and let me just save this we we'll call this ikea hack light okie dokie let's open our color tab and uh, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to label this uh, hedge m and l and alt s gives me two other nodes i'm going to do this as con and sat let's go back to our edit and then we can see can you see the difference between this is the ungraded and then this is the graded profile i did not go too heavy on it just slight differences just to show you we can do a bit of change just with a bit of manipulation i suppose we could give it a bit more color in the saturation okay how about we try this one okay now bypass okay and go back to our edit and that's that uh, as you can see there's a clear difference between these two um, not major but a slight difference now let me just export this and obviously I'm not too worried about doing a massively professional quality here um, and that's uh, uh, to render and we're gonna start I'm gonna save this and start rendering this bit okay I still haven't checked the final quality of the uh, processing in uh, resolve so I'm not sure what it looks like I might make some tweaks but what do you guys think this cheap consumer grade IKEA bulb I mean there's a cheaper one probably I think there is a like a 5 watt equivalent which is just over a pound I think I found before but no way that only one of them will be enough you're gonna have to put a few and also 2700 Kelvin uh, because that's kind of a warm white is not ideal for a daylight um, kind of neutral um, scenario whereby you can now put a bit more grading processing on top of that again if you're a professional one you will not be watching this video if you do it's just gonna be to school me but two professionals there's no way they would be using these kind of lights they would go for higher quality lights with you know good CRI rating and if you want to find out more information about this link above for a video from Curtis Judd once again very good uh, youtuber for filmmaking gear audio equipment and camera and lighting Do go watch him and subscribe to him he's you know one of my teachers although I can't implement what he teaches at the moment because you know this is not paid uh, jobs but like he said and uh, this is what I would reiterate as well if you're just doing YouTube videos or personal project having a light is better than no light and IKEA you can't beat the value for cheap consumer IKEA light there are other options it's certainly better than you know having a huge hot um, bulb like this and this one I don't remember how much it costs I think I bought about four for about 27 pounds something 28 so about eight pounds each or seven pounds each however there is another option which is the ledea or ledare um, i'll put link below again from ikea this one is also 2700 kelvin this one is rated at 1600 lumens 16 watts so it's equivalent to 100 watt so can you imagine if you put four of these in the softbox and then do some post processing with color grading bearing in mind it's got over 90 i think cri again the link for Qui curtis judd should give you more detail it's much much better for color representation but nothing again too critical for paid um, jobs i'm not going to do this one i was tempted to because i actually bought them but i've decided not to unless this video does really well then i might try because i got four bulbs and we can do this and then test it if you guys want to see this and 
if the video is doing well then I might consider not returning this just yet test it out and then maybe still return because IK has got a very good return policy but we'll have to say look didn't work for the video I'm not sure don't be too dodgy so that's it and um, the moral of the story do not do not ever never buy a brand new camera it's not going to make you become a professional filmmaker or even photographer but you know we're talking more about a video on this channel at the moment first is story second is audio equipment third comes lighting then a camera even the camera never ever ever buy a new camera i'm going to do a video on this soon you can get a cheap camera as long as it uh, films 1080p minimum any camera will do smartphone webcam or a cheap dslr or mirrorless but a prime lens that's an investment obviously i don't have a prime lens yet but you know it's youtube so you know as long as you've got some sort of semi-decent quality should be fine just to show you what you can do with cheap um, lighting uh, setup and on this channel I've done a few other ones I think they're gonna be up here if you want to do a cheap lighting for your video I've done one uh, using some LED strips and I've also done these videos down here if you want to learn how to develop or improve your relationship with technology go check them out don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon and also use my amazon affiliate link my name is ash from hill my tech helping you go from newbie to techie i will see you in the next one peace out